Hi, welcome to MC University On Demand, uh, one of our Tech Tip videos. In this video, we'll be looking at how to update your Pinnacle 2020 software kit. So each Pinnacle 2020 dryer comes with a software kit that includes a USB, as well as an MMC flash card for the PLC. This will be loaded with whatever the most current software was when your machine was built but we're continually developing this software, so there will be new versions potentially available on our website. So what we can do, you can go to the dealer gateway, and on the dealer gateway, when you look at the top ribbon, you'll see software. I'll go ahead and click on that. That'll bring us down to our software support area. When I scroll down, I'll see a table, and on this table, we've got PLC versions listed on the left, We've got two columns for HMI versions. You'll notice ETOP 610 HMI listed here. This is the HMI that you would have on any Pinnacle 2020 machine that was built 2019 or earlier. You have an EX710 column. This is the new HMI that we started using uh, in production year 2020. And then if we go down, we can see all of the previous versions for Pinnacle 2020, as well as this far right-hand column which shows a change summary and tells you exactly what was added. So what this allows you to do is you can look at the software version that's written on the thumb drive or on the PLC card. This one we can see has a, a version 19.32.0610.00. If I go down my list, I see that version here and I can see that there's multiple new versions available. I can then go over and look at the change summary and see exactly what changed in each of these updates so that you can decide if it's worth your time to go out to the dryer and apply that update. Let's assume that you do want to update your software cards so that you can put the latest software on your customer's machine. We'll start. Uh, on the left here, we see the PLC version. I'll compare that to the card here. My PLC memory card looks like this one has a version 19 in the beginning and .00 at the end. I can see this has a 19.02 available. So I'll go ahead and click the download link here. When you click download, this brings you to an area where you can view the file. You'll want to click this download button so that you can download it from our drive. Depending on your browser, this may look a little bit different, but in any event, it'll end up in your downloads folder or wherever you send downloads to. I'll open the file that downloaded. We can see here 19.31.1200.02, which matches what was in our table. If you open the file, we'll navigate until we see these two folders, somatic.s7s and s7 underscore job. Now, take your memory card. There's a little lock switch on the side. We'll push that up so that the card isn't locked. Put this into a card reader on your computer. We'll see we have the same two files, or they look to be the same, on this card. The dates are different on them, though. So these are older. We'll go ahead and delete these two files off of our Somatic MC card. Make sure that these are the only two things you delete. If you can see anything else on this card, leave it there. So we'll delete these two. As soon as that's done, I can take these files that I just downloaded and move them over to my card. And as soon as this is complete, I've now got my files over on my card. So what I'll do is eject my card. We can eject the device and remove it from our computer. Now I'll go ahead and lock this. This is updated. Next, we'll take a look at the USB memory card. So on this one, it looks like I've got a, a 19.00 USB memory card. If I look at our chart here on the website, I can see that 19.00 is down here. There's been multiple updates 
with a lot of new features added since this one's been released. So I'll go ahead and download 19.04. You'll notice these two download links actually give you the same files. So when you download the HMI software, you'll get both the 610 and the 710 in the same file. So we'll go ahead and download here. Once again, we'll click the download button. Then we'll go over to our downloads folder and we've got 19.32.0710.04. This is the file I downloaded. We'll open that file until we see the three uh, folders you see here. One of them is an autoexec file. Then you have an ETOP 610 and an update package. This update package is actually the one for the 710 screen. If you have a uh, 710 screen that you're updating, when you put the USB in the back, this will automatically boot and update your HMI. If you're using this same USB to update a 610 screen, the auto exec won't start it. You'll want to put the USB in the back, navigate to update HMI in the service menu just like you normally would, and then uh, navigate through the browser that you get to this file here, ETOP 610. So what we'll do, we'll take our USB, put it in our computer here. You can see that this is an older version of uh, the software. There's only one file here. We'll go ahead and delete this. Even if the files here look the same as the files that you've just downloaded, you'll want to delete everything that's on your USB, copy the files from your download folder, over to here. This is our thumb drive. This will take just a minute. The HMI files are bigger than the PLC files, so this will take a moment to move the update packages over. But as soon as this transfers the three files over to the USB card, it's complete. So we've now got a good uh, USB. We can come over here on the bottom and eject. Right click, eject the USB. And it's now updated. So I now have an updated PLC memory card, as well as an updated USB for the HMI. So that's the procedure. Um, you can always come to our website and find the latest available stable software for you to use. Um, you can use your best judgment on the changes column to see if these changes affect your customer um, and if it's worth, uh, worth your time to go and update those machines. Um, I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you in the next video.